Okay, so here's one we've caught. Using the hints and tips we're gonna talk about today with oils and attractants. So we'll get this one back and see if we can get another. Okay, so the first thing I wanna work through with you on the oils is our new pellet oil, which is sinking. Now there's a range of flavours that you can pick to suit your situation, what you're fishing and what you're fishing for. Krill and squid I've got here, I love using on my spod mix. Now this is hemp and nut spod mix, great attractant in its own right on this lake especially, it's absolutely fantastic, really does turn the fish on. But to give it an extra boost, this sinking oil I can, I can spread liberally over the top, I can soak, basically soak the particle in it and the fantastic thing I get as you can smell it now, I get loads and loads of flavour and smell coming off that particle now with that oil, but it stays around the bait, attracting the fish to where I'm actually fishing. Great for river fishing as well. If you're barbel fishing, you know, you're not bringing the flavour up in the water. You're keeping that flavour going along the riverbed and to the fish that you want to attract to your feed. But one of the wonderful things I'm using it for on here is because we've got a lot of bird life, and especially at this time of year, they're, they're really looking for something to eat as they've got little ones to feed in the spring and they're constantly looking for your bait. Well, if I've got a lot of attractants and a lot of oils that are bubbling up to the surface constantly, the minute I put some of this in and I go away from it, the birds are on it and they're diving and they're taking my bait. But with the sinking oil, I can keep a level of attraction around the bait that I've put in and it's not rising up to the top, attracting the bird life and all that. So another good, um, good tip for using the clear pellet oil is uh, I found when using it, it, it actually toughens up baits if you leave them soaking in this. So for things like lunch and meat, um, softer boilies, those sort of baits that often come off, you know, after a short period of time or in heavy flood water in the river. So I'll keep a bag or a little tub of hook bait soaked in the pellet oil. It gives them that extra bit of smell, that extra bit of flavor and that extra bit of toughness. So when, you know, the river's raging or you're getting a lot of small fish action over the patch, you know, you, it just helps keep your hook bait on for that bit longer and keep that attraction pumping out. Okay, so that's it really for the clear pellet oil. I'll show you another tip we've been using this for uh, already as, as it's got warmer this spring, but um, let's have a look at some of the other oils and, and some of the things we use those for to help our fishing. Okay, so now we move on to the absolute daddy of attractants. This is our Sonyu's Absolute Fish Oil. 100% um, fish oil, top quality product. I don't think there's a carp angler or any, any fish angler really in this country who doesn't know the properties of this stuff. I mean, it can be used to attract absolutely everything and it can be used in such a multitude of ways. The first way I use this fish oil is basically, it's really simple, it's one we've used for absolute years. As a carp angler, boilies were always very much uh, a staple, you know, and it wasn't long before we realised in carp fishing that if you douse boilies in, in fish oil, let them soak it up. You can leave them for days, weeks, it really doesn't matter. It just, as it soaks into the boil, look at that attraction, look at how they glisten. Well, when they're in the water, they are constantly pumping attraction when you cover these baits in fish oils. Silty, deep water, gravel pits, it really doesn't matter. Boilers soaked in, in fish oils, everything loves them. In addition to soaking your boilies in the absolute fish oil, any bait, to be honest, can be soaked in, uh, in the fish oil. I like to soak the pellets in it as well. If you really want extra pulling power on pellets, and I know pellets have already got a certain amount of fish oil in, but if you add fish oil in warm weather, you know, when the fish are feeding, if you want to pull fish onto your patch, it is another number one tip. So you can soak the pellets in them, 
on their own, you can mix them with boilie and soak them both at the same time. You can add them to your spod mix, it really doesn't matter. But, I mean, pellets are used a lot in commercial carp fishing and on commercial carp fisheries, but like they seem to have fallen out of a bit of favour in the big sort of carp circles at the moment. But let me reassure you that pellets, and like especially pellets soaked in a fish oil, really do pull all sizes of carp full stop. Okay, so now we've gone through the pellets and the boilies, let's look at another couple of ways that we can use this fish oil in our fishing. Now we touched on it before when we looked at spod mix. This is the, the sweet corn and the hemp. Again, it's a fantastic mix on its own, but add fish oil to it and it just becomes alive. Like I say, in the warmer months, once the water temperature gets up over 12, 14 degrees and the fish really start actively feeding, that just enhances it so much more. If you really want to make it into a, a, a mix that will catch anything, a spod mix, a bag mix, a ground bait, a method mix, it really doesn't matter. Hemp and alley crush, mix with sweet corn and hemp, and then laced with fish oils. Well, I haven't met a fish yet in British waters that won't come and feed on that. So that mix will never let you down. Now looking at the reason why we're using the blend of hemp and alibet, spod mix and fish oil, why does it attract fish? Well, for number one, it's full of proteins and fatty acids. They're constantly bubbling off your bait bubbling off everything you put it in and just breaking up through the water and they're basically what the fish is swimming around looking for. So they drain fish through all different levels of the water, all columns as it works up through the water, whatever height that fish is at because fish don't always swim around on the bottom, fish are up in the layers and like that just sends your food signal all around and all up through the column, constantly dragging those fish down to come and inspect the feed that you've put out. So another wonderful way in when we're using spod mix or you know a carpet feed such as a ground bait feed, method mix, that fish oils can help you or if you've got heavily soaked boilies out there or pellets in fish oil, is when it's been out there for a while and you're on a windy day, much like today and the, the water behind me and there's just a steady ripple, you'll notice a flat spot appear. So a, 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 a piece of the water above where you're fishing It'll, it'll, it'll flatten off the wind and it'll appear like a circle and then it'll drift away with the wind and you'll see it come up. Now that indicates to us that the food on the bottom is starting to be disturbed. Fish are starting to feed and starting to take note in the bait. So when you're, when you're fishing and you see that start to happen, you can help use that to tell you that how, how much frequency a bait to apply, when to apply it, when you should be expecting a bite. So not only is the fish oil attracting fish, it's also helping you weigh up what's going on in the underwater situation where you're fishing. Another way we can use the, the fish oil is to coat floaters. Now once these floaters are coated with fish oil, the minute they go out onto the surface, they create a massive flat spot. Now that helps us be able to see the fish feeding on the floaters and also gives us, when it's windy like this, it can be very difficult presenting the hook bait when you float a fishing as it drifts across. But if you can kill that wind for a period, you can fish your bait in relatively static water, helping it, your presentation when you're trying to catch fish on the surface. Now, as I've just shown, we've soaked these floaters in oil. in floating oil, in our absolute fish oil. I also like to add a bit of our sinking oil that I showed you before, because when you couple these two together, the great thing is, it's not only got a lot of smell, taste and flavor on your floaters, but you've also got, you've got an oil that goes across the top, creating a mass flat spot on the surface. 
making it easier to present the bait. You've also got flavour and attraction dropping through the water, having the reverse effect, pulling fish up towards those floaters. Now, if you don't like doing this to your own floaters, and I'll admit it is a bit greasy, Sonia actually do do their own ready impregnated floaters with fish oil. So, now it's warming up, give it a try as the fish get up on the top. Now this is 100% organic hemp oil with a flavour over the top. The good thing about hemp oil done like this is this oil can be used no matter what temperature the river or the lake gets to. So perfect as we're fishing here in spring when the water hasn't quite warmed up at the moment. Or if I was fishing the river in winter or autumn for a late season barbel, then this attractant's perfect. Like if you've got heavy water, a lot of color in the water, it's great to put on then. Gives the attraction of the oil and also gives the taste and smell of the flavor. So once again, with this, with this hemp oil, I'll use this on pellets like I've done here, just to pep them up, just to give them that bit of extra flavor. It can be used in your spod mix or on the meat, or it can be used even just rubbed into some bread. I've used it in the winter for chub and it's a great attractant for that. So really, whatever, whatever type of bait you're using, you can enhance its attractive properties by using this Sonia Bates hemp oil. Okay, so we're producing this oil in three different flavours. We've got the spicy sausage, we've got the hemp and alibut, and we've also got the cheese flavour, the garlic and cheese, which is a great chub and barbel, barbel flavour. Now, the main thing that we talked about with this is the fact that you can use it in any weather. Like when we talked earlier about the, the fish oil and why we're using it in warmer climates and when the, warm, the, when the water's a bit warmer and we're using it for carp and barbel when the rivers are down and the, and the lakes are warm, that's then pumping the flavour up through the water. But as it gets towards winter, it can congeal and it thickens up and it doesn't release the flavours or, or the attraction that it does uh, in the warmer months. Now the thing is with this hemp oil, you can use this all year round. It doesn't matter how cold it gets, keeps pumping flavour out through the water and keeps pumping that attraction all through the swim. So no matter what time of year, no matter what the conditions, this can be used with full confidence that it's gonna keep attracting fish. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna talk about Sonu's Absolute Liquid Flavors. Now, there's a range of flavors. They're on a liquid base. It's not oil. It dissolves in water no matter what the temperature, and it's also got feed-inducing palates in it and sweeteners. So you can, basically, they've taken everything you need to know about flavoring a bait, a hook bait, method mix, anything you wanna put it to, and they've put it in this base so we can't over-flavor it. Now, when I make my method mix, I've been using it a lot in this. I use the Hemp and Alley Crush, I'm using the sweet cord, a couple of handfuls of that, and then I use the liquid out of my F1 corn and a bit more F1 corn. And then I can tailor it whichever way I want, using whichever flavor I think I need for the fishery or the fish I'm targeting. Also, like I said, it can be used on any form of hook bait. You can use it on boily, boily hook bait, pop-ups, give them an extra zing. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you fancy using it on, if you think your fish you're targeting or your fishery needs that sort of flavor, you can pep up whichever bait you want. Okay, so getting towards the end of the day now we've managed another fish. A little bag of spod mix with the sinking pellet oil has done the job for us. So I hope you like the hints and tips on oils and flavours and I hope you catch a few spring carp like this on them. Thanks for watching.